Hello friends, and welcome back to Battlefield Hardline, where the cops are actually just dinosaurs and the criminals disregard law enforcement. And you know what, no matter how much I see the dinosaur mask, it's still goofy to me, especially in Hotwire. It's like seeing a velociraptor riding shotgun and throwing grenades at people. It's awesome, but my brain still hurts thinking about it. And I know that seeing as another embargo just ended, your subscription feeds are yet again overflowing with new hardline content, so I'm going to keep this video like I keep all of my affairs in the bedroom. Short, disappointing, and above all else, confusing. Because the last thing that I want to do is show you things that you've already seen or tell you things that you already know. However, if you would like to see all of the footage that I have from these new maps, including Grow House, Hollywood Heights, Derailed, Riptide, Everglades, and The Block, I will leave a link in the description and an annotation on your screen now so you can see however many hours of raw footage I have in a separate video. Because I know many of you are always curious as to what some of these unseen maps are all about and how they look. So that full video with all the gameplay and all the footage that I have and every angle of these new maps, I will leave a link in the description and an annotation on your screen. And one final disclaimer, I know that this is PS4 footage and how much I am absolutely terrible on console. I am horrifically bad with a controller and these headsets were really weird, man. They were really weird. Like, all of these regular sounds in the game were fairly quiet but the explosions were extremely loud, basically to the point where I got tinnitus and had to pop my eardrums after every single round. Mom. Mom. So I get it, I suck on console and I should feel bad, but this isn't about proving to you that I'm MLG, it's about showing you new content. But in the spirit of not wasting your time, allow me to give you a rapid rundown of what you can expect from these maps and these game modes that have all changed at least a little bit. Grow House. Although I really want to say that this is an innovative new map that features dynamic routes of maneuverability, action-packed warehouses, and intense gameplay, this map is literally just... Yeah, literally. Literally marijuana, not figuratively. The Levolution is literally setting weed on fire. Now, this Levolution is too full because not only can you set this medicinal herb, casually known as Kush, on fire, but you can also extinguish that fire using the sprinkler system. So it works both ways. And although this map has a great deal to offer in terms of close quarters gameplay, I'm sure everyone is just gonna be eating Funyuns and Cheetos in the basement. Hollywood Heights. Prepare to be blasted with shotguns and SMGs that have rates of fire so high they can basically cut you in half. Just picture a mansion filled with all kinds of fancy artwork that you can't afford, yet you get to absolutely demolish with whatever weaponry you desire. Now, the Levolution is the whole front of the house collapsing into the swimming pool area, so if you brought your swim trunks and were planning on swimming, I would get that done early so the ground doesn't progress too far, you don't get crushed in the swimming pool, that's just a word of advice. And seriously, unless you plan on harvesting kills by camping on the roof with an assault rifle, just run a shotgun and you will be set to go. Derailed. Another map set in a large warehousing district that is intersected by a large canal, I think this is going to be an absolute favorite in Hotwire. There is plenty of room to gallop in the fast fancy cars, yet plenty of open space along sight lines where you can engage hotwired vehicles pretty far away from you, but... I must warn you that looks can be deceiving and what I mean by that is don't trust your gut when it comes to the terrain. There are all sorts of chain link fences and seemingly paper thin obstacles that you think you can bust through like the Kool-Aid man screaming, oh yeah, but you can't. So just remember, no matter how thin it may look, it's probably stronger than your tanker truck carrying 80,000 pounds of gasoline because, you know, Physics. Riptide. Although I've already shown you guys this one for heist, this map is much more suited to Hotwire. Much like Derail, there's plenty of room to reach your top speed, yet there are also choke points where you enter the main island and you're pretty well gonna get RPG'd into oblivion. Not even joking. Like, if you see any kind of gateway or any kind of entry to the main island, you're about to explode into a million different pieces. This is basically what Rick Ross's life is all about. Every day I'm hustling. Everglades. I'm still so salty that they changed the name from the original of Gator Hunt. I'm, I'm basically a salt mine. I'm like, the ocean personified. I'm like McDonald's french fries at 11 a.m. I am so salty that they changed the name. I mean, I guess I took it personally because I was actually looking forward to hunting gators. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen gator, but hunting gators sounds great, doesn't it? And you can't. You can't hunt gators on this map.
Oh, what the fuck? So although I was really wanting to stab an apex predator in the mouth with a golden knife or a golf club or something, it can't happen because anytime that you get close, they just scurry into the water and disappear and I start to cry. The Block. If No Shark Canals and Operation Metro from Battlefield 3 somehow conceived a child, this would be it. There are basically three lanes of attack, which include getting shot in the right alley, getting shot in the left alley, or punching it through the middle in the apartment complex, and surprise, surprise, still getting shot in the face. But still believe me when I say that this map is enjoyable, and if you know your way around a P90 or can whip out your shoddy like John Gotti, you will be just fine. And I can tell you right now, if server owners decide to run 64 player conquest on this map, prepare your eardrums to be perforated constantly until you exit the server, because it is going to be loud. And the new game mode that I'm sure all of you have been hearing about called Crosshair, I don't really like it that much. I mean, when it comes down to it, it's just VIP from basically every other first person shooter ever, but with a different name. It, literally all you need to do is shoot the other team's VIP before they shoot yours and you win, which essentially turns into a VIP camp fest. I'm pretty sure we won every round by just I don't know, like throwing the VIP in a dumpster, or stashing him in a corner, or hiding him in the kitchen, and that's about it.